everyone welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a plan with me for the week of february 28th until march 6th so if that sounds good to you hope that you stick around before we get started i would love if you take a second to like and subscribe it'd be greatly appreciated and let's just hop right into it so this week i'm going to use the march collection from sterling inc which i like and i think is really pretty I'm just not the biggest fan of orange um and like the star of the show is this it's beautiful but it's orange flower um so i'm probably going to use stickers like these i got this in the um, subscription kit so i didn't pick out all of these different sheets i probably would have picked i definitely would have picked a little differently but i'm not mad about it i do think though that i'm going to change my subscription to be fully transparent um, yeah, but I'm pretty happy with this subscription. Okay, so I haven't even thought about washi. I don't even know if I want to include washi. Um, if I do, it'll probably just be my neutral grids. We'll see. I have a lot with, sorry. I have a lot going on this week. I'm like super stressed. I missed last week's uploads because I was traveling. So I just got home. It's Tuesday. I got home on Friday, the 25th. I worked Friday and Saturday. I had my first day back in class yesterday and today's Tuesday and I have to go back to class today, like actual in-person class. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a common thread on my channel. I hate in-person classes. That's what the pandemic taught me. Is that I don't like them. Um, I, I, first off, I live an hour away from campus. So like it's an hour long commute there and back. So a three hour class now takes up five hours <laughs> of my day. Um, so it's just a lot. And because of the fact that I'm like a social science student, it's not like I'm going to class to use like software programs that are on special computers at university or using like the labs like science students do. I go to class and listen to the professor talk, which I can do perfectly fine from the comfort of my own home. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to, if you guys don't know, I typically tend to use this space for highlights. I'm not even going to do that anymore. I'm going to try a week not doing that and just have this be complete open this week and next week just because I want to encourage myself to use my journal a little bit more um, on a daily basis and having this as a crutch where I just write in the memories and then transfer them in bulk later to my journal means that there's not really a high incentive to open my journal up regularly and I don't want that. I want to be in it more often so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to not try a week without that little memory section and see how I feel about it. Okay. Um, but yeah, traveling went good. Except for, oh my gosh. So on Friday, I had a, what was it? 6 a.m. flight, okay? Which I like to take early flights because that means that like when you get there, you have the whole day ahead of you still um so i had a 6 a.m flight we boarded um the plane was getting de-iced because if you don't know i live in canada so it's a process and it was like 6 45 and they were like we're gonna have to ask everyone to de-board so you have to get off the plane i was like crap <laughs> something's not right here so we all get off the plane and they're like yeah um we think that there may be something up with the fluid or something. Um, so we're waiting on the mechanic to come. The mechanic comes <laughs> like an hour later and then they're like, and then we see him leave, okay? So then they're like, oh, like he had to leave for a higher priority flight. Okay, what does that mean? Like we all paid for these flights, like a higher priority one, okay. So time is just going by, no updates going by, going by, going by. And I'm getting like really frustrated um, cause you know, we all are, we just wanna go. And at that point it felt like there was zero communication between what was going on. Um, 
so around like what was it around like 11 a.m i started getting really frustrated because at that point that's like a five hour delay um hold on and it's just frustrating you know i understand delays especially like traveling in winter i completely get it but it just felt like there was no communication um and there was a two o'clock a one o'clock flight that was like already scheduled what is going on here there was a oh, rip my page there was a one o'clock flight that was already scheduled and i was like determined to get on that flight so I got them to switch me and I ended up leaving at one o'clock. Come to find out later that that original flight that I was scheduled on didn't take off until 6.30 that evening. So a 12 hour delay. The flight was only at two hours to begin with. It's just crazy. It was the worst travel day I think I've ever had um, in terms of like flights and delays and stuff. It was terrible. But I made it and all was good and coming back all was fine. It was actually a really smooth travel day on the way back, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I came back and then I had to go straight to work the next day. Um, which, yeah, <laughs> um, that sucked. And my back, you guys, I don't know. I've been dealing with some wild back pain ever since I got back. I don't know if it's, I sat on like, I was sitting on the plane in a like posture that messed up my back or I pulled a muscle when I was lifting up my luggage. I have no idea, but I have been in some, a lot of back pain and it didn't help that the day after I got back, I had to go to work, which I stand on my feet all day at work. Um, so it's just been a little rough. <laughs> I definitely haven't been feeling my best. I'm incredibly stressed because... I have a lot going on right now with school. It's midterms and there's just a lot happening. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm happy to be back filming. Um, that's exciting because I do miss that. I love talking to you guys. Um, I haven't posted anything on Instagram in a hot minute, which sucks. Like I hate when that happens, but also I'm just really busy right now like it's a busy season of life I cannot wait to graduate I'm excited to have some time off some time to myself I'm still gonna be working I'm still gonna be studying for my law school admissions test but it's just gonna be nice to have like no due dates and deadlines you know like I can just kind of live my life and do the things I need to do and not have to worry about these consistently like impending doom of all these deadlines um many of them for projects that like don't even have to do with what i'm studying right now just because of the classes that i'm currently taking um so yeah i'm just i'm ready for a break i've never taken a break off of school um i have gone straight through junior kindergarten to my final year of university and yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. Um, so anyway, um, this side of the page is almost done. I'm keeping it, like, I'm just doing what I normally do. I'm not really trying to spruce it up or try anything different this time. I'm just, just placing some stickers down because I'm, I'm, I'm busy <laughs> and my head is exhausted. I'm so tired. So we're just doing some normal stickers this week. Okay, I'm gonna grab um, my headers. I'm also like pretty annoyed. <laughs> um, I have two Vanderspecks on order and I don't know what's going on. Cause like I have seen people who ordered way after me receive their planners and mine haven't even shipped yet. So I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> Just because I want them, you know. They're still within their shipping period. Like, they're supposed to ship by latest March 12th. But all these other people are getting theirs. And I didn't make, like, crazy, unheard of customizations. Like, all of them were customizations that are naturally built into the website. So, I don't know what is going on. But I really want those planners. I really want them. 
So hopefully I'll have them soon. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna like do that like that. Okay. So what do we want to do now? Unfortunately, I don't have any transparent washi strips, which is part of the reason why I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch to the transparent strips just because I, I want them. I'm thinking I might lay these circles over these circles just for a little something because I don't really want to run a Tombow down this week. So I don't know because I don't really know how else I would use these circles and they're really cute. So we're just going to go for it. Anyway, so I didn't upload any videos last week because I, I wasn't here, but um, I did get feedback on the last plan with me that I uploaded, which was a voiceover plan with me. And you guys were not the biggest fans. <laughs> um, oh, there's a truck going by outside. I don't know if you can hear it. You guys were not the biggest fans, <laughs> which is okay. I only did it because I had just got my wisdom teeth out. Um, like a couple days before I filmed that video. So it allowed me to film the video and then edit and do the voiceover part later when I was feeling a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I hear you guys loud and clearly. <laughs> I will be here and chit chatting with you guys in the future. Voiceovers, I will say they are easier to do. Um, because when I do a voiceover plan with me, I can sit down. Uh, put on Netflix. I don't have to worry about external sounds. So if my building's being like really loud that day, I don't even know if I like this, but I'm kind of here now. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going with it. Um, I don't have to worry about external sounds. I don't have to worry about talking <laughs> and um, like also placing stickers and stuff. I can just, it, when I was filming that video, it, it just felt like I was planning how I used to plan like on my own for myself. Um, and that was kind of cool because I haven't planned like that in a really long time unless it was back planning um which is obviously different than future planning so yeah it was it was a cool experience and I'll probably upload like a voiceover plan with me once in a blue moon on like circumstances where it's hard to film whether again sound issues or I just kind of need a break but still want to put up content for you guys um but I do like chit-chatting with you guys. Like that's part of the community building and the talking to you guys that I really enjoy. But yeah, I do hear you guys <laughs> uh, loud and clear. Okay, so the week is set up. It is pretty. Um, oh, I got so much stuff going on. Okay, let's see. I haven't pulled out any stickers or anything like that. Um... Let's see, so I had my first day back in class, which was so stupid. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm in a cinema course this semester. So for part of the course, the course, the class is three hours long. And for the first hour, he lectures. And for the next two hours, we watch a movie. It's just a lot of travel time to watch a movie. But I did that yesterday. The movie was actually really good. I think we watched Infernal Affairs, which is a movie from Hong Kong. And it was so good. I had never heard of it before. It was really good. Um, I'm going to use that little graduation hat. Let's see about transparent dots, drops, shapes. That gray might work. The gray from the planner spot. do wander from sweet caress okay i haven't used a sweet caress transparent shape in a while i think she reformatted them too 
Okay, so 28th was my first day back to class. Okay, let me grab my pre plan because I'm getting a little confused here. Oh, I didn't even finish that pre plan. I thought I did. It's okay. Um, so yeah, all I had yesterday was um, first day of class. <laughs> I did cook dinner and I got my chef's plate delivery, so we can mark that. We made burgers with like an onion jam. I don't really mess with onions, but I made the jam um, for my grandma. And she said that it was delicious. She actually ate all of it. So it's a hit. I'd make that again. The burgers turned out good on its own. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna mark Hello Chef's Plate Delivery. I think I'm going to put that there because I did end up watching a movie that night too. And I might want to mark that to take up the space there in like a cute little way. Would use that, but that is way too large. Like incredibly large. this I actually was like laying down no I was actually sitting up what was I doing oh I was working in my journal and stuff while it was on let's use the green one maybe and I'll mark the movie I watched the movie countdown which was so stupid but it was good it had X in it from season one of you which I actually really like her so it wasn't bad okay um today i have class yay <laughs> um and i had to film i don't know if this video will go live today though that's the thing i don't know if i'll find time to edit it today but i wanted to mark the chef's plate Um, okay, so I'm trying to think. Maybe I won't mark the YouTube thing because if the video goes up today, I'll just put video live. But if it doesn't go up today, I'll just mark that I filmed it. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Wednesday, I have nothing. Like, I just have my one class that I normally have. And then on Thursday, I have class. Um, the thing is, is that majority of my time this week is all going to be taken up with things that I'm actively working on. So I don't have a lot of scheduled stuff due this week. Um, so that's good. Um, I do have two assignments due on Friday, which we can mark. What do I want to use to mark that? We can use a little pencil. Okay, so I'll mark the two things I have due on Friday here. And then I do have one thing that's due on Thursday, but I got an extension. And then a discussion post board opens on Thursday. I think it closes the following Monday, so I can mark that as well. I do need to mark, though, the fact that I have a class in person today and on Thursday. How do I want to mark that? 
like in-person learning versus online learning. Um, let's see. Maybe just some little bows. These are my favorite bows. Okay. So let's do um, some little squares maybe. So I'm gonna mark that there. Sorry, this book is so turned. <laughs> I just realized that, my bad, you guys. And then I'm gonna mark the classes on Thursday, yeah. I do have a tutorial tomorrow. I guess we can mark that as well. Okay. I didn't mark the Monday class now. That seems weird, but whatever. Monday's already gone. It doesn't really matter. So we'll use those to mark the times of my classes. And then I will also need to mark that that discussion board opens on Thursday. I do have work. I need to check my schedule though. Um, to mark work, what do I want to do? Could do this. Yeah, let's do that. These are like some little paint swatches. I have to cut them though. That's unfortunate. Maybe not. Don't want to do that. Um, I think that's the only option though. Yeah, I think that's the only option. I'm also like just in a weird place with planning right now. I don't know. I The thing is, is that typically when I'm high stress, um, I planner hop. It's just what I do. Um, it's been what I've done forever. Um, whenever I'm stressed, I plan or hop. Um, but that's, I, it's like, I'm so stressed. I don't even want to do that. <laughs> um, like the thought of planner hopping, I want to try personal rings, but then like, listen, we've been talking about this for like two months now. I know that rings doesn't work for me. So the only way that I can use rings would be under the pretense that I know I wouldn't be archiving anything. And I don't know if I would want to have a planner that I can't archive anything from. Um, so I'm just, I don't know you guys, I don't know. I don't know, but even the thought of switching to, see now that's messed up. Um, even the thought of switching to personal or switching to any other planner right now is so daunting. I don't have the time to print inserts. I just don't. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just in like a funk. And I'm trying really hard to hold on to my Hobonichi weeks because ultimately I know that it's a system that works for me. And when I am highly stressed, I know that I just need to bunker down and focus on what works. Um, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I've just always kind of planner hopped when I was stressed and I'm trying not to do that. 
So I will update you guys. <laughs> I did buy a Kinbor, which Amanda Lee Plants bought. Um, actually, I bought it specifically for the purpose of doing like memory spreads in it because I thought that that could be fun and cute because I don't really do memory spreads anywhere else. Um, I do keep a journal and I write one highlight per day, but I don't do like full memory spreads, which I used to do every single week. So I kind of been missing that. Um, so I bought a Kinbor. Um, they're on AliExpress, so they're really cheap. And I thought that I would try that, but I don't think that that would even work for me for planning, like actual planning, just because I am really not a fan of like vertical layouts functionally. I like the way that they look after the spread. I like the way that they look for memory planning, but I struggled to actually use them on the day-to-day -day for functional planning. So that's coming and that'll be another thing that I'll be able to play with, but I don't think I could even use that as a planner, even if I tried. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I think that's it as of right now. Um, again, it doesn't look super busy, but I'm super busy because I have a lot of projects that I'm working on. So all my free time is being consumed with that. It's just not something I'm going to write in right now. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and fill out the spread. I think I might want to use my fountain pen again this week. I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm just looking at past spreads where I'd use the fountain pen. Um, okay, let's just use my gel pen. <laughs> just comfortable. So, um, this was the first day of in-person class. And then here we watched, watch, countdown. With Jay. Um, Tuesday, that's today. I've got 10 o'clock tutorial. And four o'clock Okay, so hold on. I have two o'clock on my pre-plan, but four o'clock on my handwritten schedule. I'm gonna check, I can't check, okay. <laughs> I need to check the time of this class, but they're currently doing maintenance on my online login thingy, so I can't get through. So they said it'll be ready in about an hour. So I'm gonna check in an hour what time my class is later today. I just can't write it down until then though. Um, okay, and then 11 a.m. I've got my tutorial on this day. I've got 2 p.m. So 4.94, and that is in person. And then I've also got the SIN discussion post opens. and discussion post opens um and then on friday we have the hps 100 wiki edit that's like my big assignment that i haven't started wiki edit and the rlg proposal and then i'm working um here was the chef's plate delivery
I did also do a Sephora return yesterday, so you can just mark that down. Sephora return. What else did I do yesterday? I think that's about it. Um, oh, I did like put away all the clothes. I still need to clean though. I did put away the clothes. That's something. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I haven't figured out all the things I need to do for this week yet. So I'm not even going to worry about that. And I need to figure out the time for that class. But besides that, I think we're done. I do really like how this spread came out. I'm still not a fan of like the orange. Um, but without the orange, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys had a fun of a time as I did. Before you head out, I would love if you take a second to like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.